This conference yes. will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So in the Docker series today, I'm going to show you that how can you install Jenkins with the help of Docker containers. And it's very, very useful. Either you are executing your uh, Selenium test cases or for your build and deployment point of view also. In fact, uh, for your backend test cases also, you can execute through Jenkins. So you don't need to install Jenkins separately through jar file or maybe through some uh, executable file or .msi, uh, .msi file on uh, Windows. You don't need to do those things. Jenkins server, everything will be installed. Everything will be started automatically through Docker. So we will see how, it, how can we do that, right? So it's very simple, very straightforward. What you need to do that, uh, this is the official page of uh, GitHub. Uh, Jenkins CI Docker. You can see that I'll send this particular. I share this particular URL in the description of the video, and you just need to go down and execute this simple command. That Docker run this command. But before running this command, what exactly I'll do that I'll open my uh, Docker terminal that I have already shown you. That let me close this particular Docker terminal. I'll open it again. So you simple write your uh, Docker quick start terminal and i'll just maximize it and uh, let it start it takes few seconds to start and then once this particular uh, blue veil icon is there you can see this is the ip address where the docker is running and uh, we will see what are the different images are available so you can see i have some selenium images that you can ignore and i can see that what are the different containers are already running so these are the different containers which are available on my system. So there are no Jenkins container is available on my system. So what do you just need to do that? <clears throat> you just need to copy this particular uh, thing and command and then paste it over here. So what is the purpose of line? Docker run minus P means on this particular port number. Port number will be 8080 will be there. And Jenkins, Jenkins, LTS means latest. Okay, whatever latest uh, uh, port is available right i mean latest uh, uh, docker container image is available it will automatically pull the image and it will start the docker uh, it will start the jenkins on docker container and it's clearly saying that okay it will be uh, you can use your local host or the whatever the ip address of docker container with this particular 8080 uh, port number and you can use it on this particular port and read below the build executors part of the role of the 5000 port mapping this is a 5000 port mapping also they have given uh, that you can ignore it we don't need this so this particular command is uh, useful for you if you want to increase the volume part also backing up the data also there are some commands are available and uh, so what we need we need a simple jenkins container it should be available on our system so you can use this particular container uh, command and then run it so the moment I run it, you see that first of all, it's obviously locally, it's not available. Then it will start downloading all the packages for this particular container. You can see that uh, different images are being, okay, different packages of the Docker container images is being installed and are being installed. And then um, it takes few seconds and uh, it depends on your internet connectivity also. So let it complete and then we will see how exactly Docker is working over here. Okay, so it's almost done. So there are different, uh, see, you can see that different packages is actually pulling, okay, from the Docker hub. You just let it complete and then we will see how exactly Docker is running on this particular container on this machine. So this is the Windows 10 machine I'm using right now. Same exact thing, you can do it on Mac machines as well. So yeah, this is done. <clears throat> and once this is done, automatically it will set up the environment for Jenkins home and everything. So you don't need to do anything. And it, see, you can see that Jenkins is going to be started now. And uh, let it start. So Jenkins server is getting started on your local host on the given IP address and on this particular port number 8080 so let it execute let it run completely and then finally this is perfectly fine so when you get this particular message somewhere that okay yes uh, jenkins initial setup is required an admin user has created a password generated 
please use the following password to proceed to installation so this is the jenkins password initial password guys okay initial password you just need to copy so let me copy this or this particular password can be found at this particular location also you can go to this particular directory and then in your local system and you can found okay you can find this particular the one time password this is the first time password we will get it all right apart from that you will see that jenkins is finally up and running there are no problem with the jenkins and uh, i'll go to my so we have to use this particular ip address 9900 this one with port number 8080 so i'll do one thing i'll simply go to 192 dot yeah this is already there and then 8080 okay so you will see that a uh, docker unlock jenkins and here you have to give the administration password over here then you have to give the administration password over here okay so this is the password i have given and uh, okay whatever the password that you are getting on the console and then click on continue i don't want to save this password once this is done we have to customize the jenkins so click on this install suggested plugins we just click on it whatever the basic plugins are needed we just need to okay automatically it will download it will start downloading all these plugins so there are some basic plugins like pipeline plugin git plugin ldap subversion git plugin and gradle okay build timeout email extension these kind of uh, plugins are available so quickly it will download so let it download and then then we will see that how exactly <clears throat> uh, jenkins is set up or not meanwhile you can check that jenkins container is up and running or not obviously it's up and running that's why okay that's why on this particular uh, you know you can see that <clears throat> this ip address in the host is running on that particular container only so i'll do one thing if you open this uh, docker terminal right so jenkins is already started over here so you don't terminate this so let it be like this and minimize it and you open one more docker terminal from here okay simple right docker quick start terminal and uh, here we will see that the actually docker is available or not so okay this particular docker container is available or not so docker ps minus a you can see this yeah you can see that this this is a container we have used right this is the image we are using and this is a container got created from this particular image and 3 uh, minutes ago it got created and it's up and running from last 3 minutes and this is the port number we are using 8080 port number we are using over here right guys so you can see that yes container got created it's up and running and if you really want to see the image also for this particular container let's see docker images you can see that one image that we have downloaded jenkins the tag is lts and this is the image id got created it got created somewhere on their system i mean on on git repository 2 weeks ago and this image will take around 572 mb on your system so that's not an issue it's um, and okay so that's fine and you can see container is also working fine and docker images also is there and i quickly open the status what exactly is happening with my docker i mean with with my jenkins so almost see you can see all the plugins one by one are getting executed i mean getting installed on your system and with the green right click right green mark so let it execute so i'm not going to show you today that how to install i mean how to execute the builds and all those things but uh, basic overview a quick overview of jenkins i can give it to you but later on you guys can later on you guys can okay uh you know uh, run your test cases with respect to selenium with respect to test automation for build and deployment point of view that is up to you how exactly you guys are using jenkins so so let it complete it takes few right so you can see that these are the different uh, Our console logs are coming. That what exactly? What kind of uh, you know? What is the status and all those things? So right now it's downloading some version. You can see that some version is getting downloaded over here, and some version is completed. Then email extension, then LDAP. These two plugins are almost done, and uh, yeah, so almost done. Meanwhile, you can do one thing if you really want to see that uh, you go to your container. okay if you really want to see docker container logs so simple write docker logs 
on which container this is running. So Jenkins is running on this particular container ID. So simple, right? Docker logs this, and you run, and you see that. So whatever the in the background, whatever the uh, different installation plugins were happening, see, you can see that all the plugins are available over here, right? You can see the logs starting the installation for GitHub, right? Pipeline plugin, and then okay, pipeline GitHub library. So a lot of plugins it already installed SSH plugin. Right, different plugins already installed. So you can see the complete logs over here as well. Now it's getting started, and again, it will take some time. So yeah, this is done. Here you can create your username password. Okay, so let's say I'm creating my username is this. My password, I'll create something. Okay, you can create a separate user. You can so that you can log in into Jenkins as well. Okay. Let's see, I'm writing full name Naveen K and I'm writing my email ID also. So let's see, this is my email ID and then save and continue. And if you really want to change the URL, don't change it. This is the URL that we are already using. This is the IP address of the Docker instance, Docker engine, colon 8080, and then click on save and finish. So it might be different on your system, guys. So just click on save and finish and then start using Jenkins. You see that simple. Jenkins is ready now, right? So within five ten minutes, you can set up everything, and then you can see that this is the user I user the VNK that I created, and Jenkins is fully up and running now. You can configure any build, you can execute any Git repository uh, uh, jobs over here. You can execute whatever you want to do with respect to test cases, with respect to Selenium test cases, any build if you want to execute, you can simply do it. I quickly tell you, you after that you just go to manage Jenkins. By default, Maven is not available or some other basic plugins are also not available. You can download those plugins. So click on this simple manage plugins and click on available. And uh, after that, you simple go to, okay, you simple go to search for Maven. And uh, when you search for Maven, it should give you, uh, see, there are a lot of plugins are available, guys. So either it's up to you, like which plugin you need. So let me check it once again. You just click on available. It's a little slow. And uh, let's search for Maven. Okay, yeah, you can see that. Download this Maven integration plugin so that all your Maven projects can be executed from, okay? You can create a Maven project in Jenkins as well. And click on this install without restart. I don't want to restart my Jenkins. So you can see that whatever the plugin's history Okay, these are the different plugins that you have already installed on your Jenkins. And uh, this is a loading plugin extension and Maven integration is success. And then I don't want to restart my Jenkins. You simply uh, go back to Jenkins, click on again, manage Jenkins, and then click on manage plugin once again. For testing point of view, or maybe some, some development point of view, you can download some other plugin also. Let's see if you want to download TestNG plugin. Okay, so you can see that uh, TestNG results plugin is available. So this plugin also you can do that and simple install without restart. So there are a lot of plugins, LR report plugin and uh, Gradle plugin. Okay, different build configuration plugins are available. So it depends on your requirement, what kind of requirement you have, what kind of use case you have. On the basis of that, you guys can okay download the plugin accordingly, right? So I don't want to spend time okay, on different downloading plugins and all. So this is the basic overview about the Jenkins guys. You can create the job now. See, you can click on create new jobs. You can create the project. You can create the Maven project. Whatever the Maven project that you have, okay, maybe on your Git repository or whatever, you guys can directly execute the Maven project from here as well. Okay, you can configure the Maven project and then good to go. Perfectly fine, right? And uh, you back to your uh you back to your see you don't close this otherwise what will happen that it will uh, close the instance of uh, docker container so you don't close it if you really want to let's see now i want to shut down my okay i quickly check i really want to shut down my container for jenkins i don't want to use it so this is the container for jenkins it's already up and running so it's up up means it's running right so i want to stop it so simple write docker or you just kill it, docker kill this. And now the docker container for Jenkins got killed and then you refresh your Jenkins browser 
on I mean Jenkins URL on the browser. Let's see what happens because container we have killed. It means the session got killed now. Now you can see that unable to connect. Right? As simple as that. Simple guys. So you guys can use it like this. Okay. So yeah, that's all for this particular video, guys. And uh, if you really want to remove the container, if you don't want to use this particular container, simply use Docker RM. You remove this container, so container will be removed. And if you want to remove the images also for that particular Jenkins, first you write Docker images, and this is the image ID. You copy this and Docker simple write RMI remove image and this particular image. So Docker image also will be removed immediately. Now there is no Jenkins Docker image is available on your system. You can check Docker images command once again image. Okay, this image is gone. The Jenkins image is gone, right guys? Earlier it was there, now it's gone. So it's so easy to maintain, right? That the maintenance of the work is so easy to do that, right? So this is amazingly good. That's why I always prefer these days, uh, you know, for any kind of new installation or any kind of application installation, Jenkins, uh, Selenium, Herbo Grid, Selenoid, uh, uh, MySQL servers or whatever. There are so many things. Right, that's why I always prefer to use Docker these days. Okay, guys, so that's all for this particular video. I hope you really like this video. And if you really like it, please subscribe to the channel and like this particular video. And if you have any questions, you can write down the comment okay over there and then let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching this video, guys.